Coast to Coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. African, Middle Eastern, Asian, European countries are locking down their borders, beefing up surveillance on foreigners flying in. Here in the United States, we're paralyzed by political correctness. We're not even allowed to control the border. And Geraldo Rivera and uh, MSNBC and others say it's racist if you're worried about Ebola coming here. This is literally like a spider biting a bug to paralyze it before it sucks it dry. Political correctness is Soviet-style mind control in this country. Meanwhile, uh, there's German news headlines saying Putin reportedly thinks that World War III will start, that there will be a huge war with the United States. And hey, I just want stability. I just don't want to have World War III. I'm not pro-Russia. I'm pro-survival. And the West is run by globalists who are building a gulag archipelago here in this country. I'm a hardcore libertarian, constitutionalist, paleoconservative, whatever you want to call it. And I mourn for my nation as its borders are collapsed, as our sovereignty is destroyed, as we're spied on illegally, as the government announces libertarians, conservatives, veterans, gun owners as the number one enemy, and prepares for illegal war against us. And meanwhile, I have the Democratic Party attacking me every day through their organs, and I have the neocon defense contractor media with well-known establishment shills that I won't even name running around saying I'm a KGB agent. When I pointed out that our government, the criminal sectors of it, was openly funding Al-Qaeda and the Taliban as a pretext to take our liberty, they claimed that I was secretly trained, the same people, in jihadi camps. And the propaganda is so dumbed down and so naked, and it doesn't even work anymore. But the system just goes forward with it. But I think about how dishonorable these people are that do this. And then I saw a Navy SEAL. I wrote his name down. He's been on the show. He's a great guy. Exposing Obama preparing for martial law. Just search Navy SEAL says Obama preparing for dictatorship. He was on like six months ago talking about how they probably killed the Navy SEALs to cover up the fake bin Laden raid. Really good guy. And I saw him on Fox News. I wrote Benjamin Smith believing Chris Kyle and saying Ventura is basically guilty of treason. And he looked so sincere on TV, and, and that's the buddy factor, because he was friends with Chris Kyle, so he believed his buddy. And, and you kind of respect that at one level, because Ventura's my buddy, so then I back him. That's what it comes down to. But the truth is, it isn't about Ventura, it's about the PSYOP. That they could do this to anybody, get somebody who's respected to lie about you. Then that person gets killed mysteriously before it can go to trial. And the media won't say that News Corp is running the whole deal. Fox News is a division of that. And that it's an insurance policy that pays it. And Ventura doesn't even need the money. Ventura did some land deals on a big ranch he bought where he made a ton of money, a bunch of other stuff. I mean, Ventura did not do what they said, and it's meant to destroy his name. And then they spin it like he's going after a widow, and he's a bully when he filed the suit before Chris Kyle was dead. And the PSYOP even works on people like Benjamin Smith.
And again, it's bigger than Ventura or Chris Kyle. It's how these psyops work. It's like the kickoff for war with Russia. It's just based on fraud. Aging starts at the cellular level. When cells become toxic, they die early and aging sets in. In the past decade, we have witnessed unparalleled scientific discoveries. During that period, key patented compounds have focused on mitochondrial growth, nerve growth, and rejuvenation. But no one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. We now have the synergistic solution, DNA Force, just one of the key compounds. BioPQQ is backed by major clinical studies and over 175 PubMed-listed published studies. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? The ultimate value, cutting-edge, trailblazing game-changer that also supports the info war. Secure your DNA force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. DNA Force from InfoWars Life. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. Most people know that iodine deficiency has been a crisis around the world. Iodine is key to so many of the body's functions, especially the thyroid. I discovered a product being developed by Dr. Group. You now know it as Survival Shield True Nascent Iodine that your body can really absorb. Then, about a year ago, he said, listen, if you think this is powerful, I'm going to come out with rare earth, deep earth crystals. And the results that I personally have had have been life-changing. Nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. This is innovating, and the best part is it helps fund InfoWars.com, the radio show, the TV show, the whole media operation promoting true libertarian ideas. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. Take advantage of this unprecedented 30% off super detox special at InfoWarsLife.com. I can, like, taste dirt in it. God knows what's in this. These people just sampled City of Austin tap water straight from the faucet. Next, we had them try a sample of tap water filtered through the ProPure G2.0 filtration system. That one is better. Tastes like nothing. Yep, I know what good water tastes like. It's good water. Most tap water contains added substances like fluoride, chlorine, glyphosate, and many others. Studies prove that these substances are linked to an assortment of major health issues, including tooth decay, lowered IQ, and even cancer. It tastes like you're drinking out of the lake when you're drinking tap water. The ProPure G2.0 filtration system removes these deadly substances, leaving only fresh tasting, deliciously clean water. Okay, this is very tasty. It's good water. Refreshing. It's good. Go to InfoWarsStore.com today and get your free wire stand with the purchase of a ProPure big water filtration system or call 1-888-253-3139. InfoWars.com studios, it's Alex Jones. It is the 31st day of July 2014. I'm your host, Alex Jones, and we are truly riding the lightning of tyranny as it falls from the heavens, thrown from the hand of Lucifer. We're here Monday through Friday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central Standard Time. The tyranny is coming down. The God of this world, the power of the air, the power of the propaganda of the New World Order is intensifying. The great deceptions being stacked upon deceptions until the lie becomes a synthetic false consciousness reality. That is what we face, ladies and gentlemen. On this live Thursday worldwide transmission, we have in studio, coming up in the third hour, the Obama phone lady. He gave us a phone, he's going to do more. She was here a year ago to be interviewed for the Obama Deception 2 that I never released. Now so much has happened, I'm remaking the entire film, and I have decided that I am just going to do what I did with the first Obama deception. Films like Endgame, 
took me a year and a half to make, working on it constantly. It's a three-hour film. It's really three films. Other films took you know three, four, six months. It, it varied. This film, I've been working on Obama Deception 2 for five years. And I literally have edited four or five hours that's film. But I'm going to go back, take the most powerful parts of that, and then put new developments in it. And then I'm just going to sit there and lock myself. I've done this before. I've just got a lot of family stuff going on and other operations. But I'm going to have to lock myself for about two weeks in an editing room. Every day when I get off the air, do nothing. I'll be like Howard Hughes in his hotel room, literally. I've done this before. Slept on the couch in there. We've got couches in the editing base. We haven't used them in years because I haven't been working like that in years. And I'm just going to sleep up here. We're going to just slap it together. That happened with Obama Deception, the first one. That was made in one month. One month on top of the radio show, everything else we were doing. I made that with uh, about three people in one month. And so there will be an Obama Deception too. My problem is I obsess over trying to make a super powerful film and, and I don't have words to describe how evil the system is and how much bad they're doing and then I want to obsess on proving every point I make until the film ends up being five hours long. It needs to be 90 minutes super high powered and just crystallize and condense the information together to transcend Obama, but the idea of collectivism versus liberty, the idea of government by conquest, government by gang, government by combine, by monopoly versus liberty and those ideas. The film is very similar. The film is basically done. I haven't worked on it in six months, just sitting back there. Is basically Dinesh D'Souza's America, but more hardcore. Because it's the truth. I knew what would be in Dinesh D'Souza's film when he was on six months ago before he got indicted. I was predicting on air what it was about. And he was saying, yes, that's very un uncanny that you, you know what's in the film. And I said, no, it's not. Hold on one second. Hello. Hello. Hey, how you doing? I'm fantastic. Uh, I'm going to go to break here in just a few minutes. Can I, uh, uh, well, uh, guys, go ahead. Okay, well, you're so sweet to, you're so sweet to call me right back. Okay, okay, I'll call you in six minutes. All right, thank you, bye. I had to take tag because I've been playing phone tag with Ventura and his wife for days, and so I knew that was them. And I, he said he'd come on my show radio first uh, once the verdict came out, and then I just played phone tag and never got it done. And then I had my crew go into the publicist and they were playing phone tag. So that's why I did that. Excuse me. I don't usually do that. I've, I've done that a few other times on air, like if my mom calls me or something. But that was, uh, anyway, side issue. Uh, what was I getting into? I have this tendency, ladies and gentlemen, to go off down rabbit trails. And I've gone off into discussing uh, the Obama deception too, that we're just going to put out. I have not put out a film since Fall of the Republic five years ago that was my film. Uh, we put out Strategic Relocation. It's a documentary. But uh, I'm the host of it, but I didn't make it. Really. Um, you know, the office did. The, the news crew did. Uh, and that's not really what you call a documentary. It's more of a presentation slash documentary. Uh, but I will put it out. All right, let me reset here. Um, guys, print me all the Ventura numbers because they, she just gave me another one to call, and, and I, I need to call their back phone number. And I forget which one it is. I'll know it when I see it, so just print me all the numbers. Cell phones, everything. Just bring it in there because i got to call her during the break. Sorry. I don't mean to mention that on air. It's just that then I'll go to break for four minutes and won't have time to, to call and get that set up. Okay. Um, literally, this is a totally transparent radio show. We could do a uh, reality TV show, but have it be live. Because reality TV is not really reality TV in most cases. And just you see the behind the scenes. And I mean, what goes on here on air is what's going on off air.
because I have the weird position of being basically the main producer of my own radio show.